Hi ladies, hi gents, I hope you're all well. Um, just want to share a quick video with you. I'm actually going to share a couple of projects with you. Um, <clears throat> I have been asked um, locally to take part in a art show. <laughs> um, one of the people that uh, run the art show, it runs twice a year in our town. Um, came to the house to see my husband about doing some music for it and he came in my craft room and he was very very lovely and um, complimentary and asked me if I would take part in the art show and I was quite taken back and um, after a couple of months I finally agreed he, he actually came in the summer <clears throat> and it's actually going to be held in December, so I agreed. Um, and when I was thinking about it, I thought, it's near Christmas time, and I don't make a lot of Christmas projects, so I thought, you know, I'm going to make some Christmas projects to, to have at the art show alongside um, my other stuff. So, <laughs> I've been using this uh, Stamperia Pink Christmas paper to make some Christmas projects. I've done a couple, I'm making a third, but I also have last year's one which is a Sweet Christmas and I love these papers. I absolutely love them. They're so shabby, so beautiful. Um, so for the two projects I'm going to show you I actually used the Pink Christmas. Uh, the one I'm still working on is using both of them but I'm only going to share the two that I made with the Pink Christmas today and these papers are just stunning I'm sure lots of you have seen them um, they are just beautiful stunning stunning okay so the first one's really simple I had this little frame that had a um, a saying in it and I it was on like a canvas and I stripped the the canvas insert out and I took one of the beautiful images from the paper which is Santa on his sleigh with the reindeer and um, I used chalk paint to paint the frame and I also sprayed it with some pearlescent glimmer mist just to give it a little bit of uh, kind of looks a bit like snow and I did spray the picture a little bit with it not too much just a little bit so it's got a little bit of sparkle on there uh, really simple because it was like a normal frame where you can open the back. I am going to put a hanger on it to hang up. And then I just added some flowers. And these were uh, some of the uh, is it 49 Market flowers. Yeah. Just in the corner. Really, really simple. Um, so that will go with me to uh, the art show and I just love pink Christmas. <laughs> um, the next project is a box that I altered. Let's see, am I getting all that in? Um, so this was just a plain uh, wooden box which I uh, covered it in the paper and I also gave this a little bit of a spray with pearlescent just to you know, give it that little sparkle touch. It probably does. It might show up on the camera. I'm not sure. Um, but I love the roses on this paper and the script. It's just so beautiful. So I used this paper um, all the way around. You can see it's got curved edges all the way around the sides. Um, box I painted all the edges in the chalk paint and the bottom. I added some little feet onto it just to give it a nice finish and again I just rubbed the chalk paint over those. Um, had this little edge on it so I just added a tiny lace and the rosebud trim on there which you can see I've done all the way around. I didn't want to overdo it. I had this tiny vintage ruffled pink trim and so I, I double layered that and then added the rose trim up at the top as well. 
Uh, then on the top I used um, again another uh, piece of the paper which has this beautiful land landscape snowy picture on, just stunning, really beautiful. Um, I did use the pearl spray on that as well. And then I just created a cluster with again the 49er market flowers, some berries I had um, in my stash and some stamen and some of the wire pieces that come with these flowers. Lots of stamen around here. Again, I dabbed a little bit of the chalk paint onto them just to give them that lovely matte uh, finish. And I'm really happy how that turned out. Just on the inside painted the inside with the chalk paint and then I used the stag image on the inside there and then just another Christmas image from the papers with the squirrel that says a Merry Christmas and on the inside so nice quite nice box so again I'm taking this to the art show um, I quite like the idea of a Christmas box. Uh, it could be used for a gift, but you know, it could also be used for Christmas memories or you know, anything like that. But I'm really happy how that turned out. I haven't altered a box in quite some time, <laughs> so it's quite nice to do that. So, like I say, I do have another project on the go. Um, which I will share with you probably in two parts because I want to show you the base of what I've done and then when it's finished. Um, but it'll be a little while because um, I'll need to try and do some work on it over this weekend. Um, but yeah, so that's my um, two Christmas projects that I've been doing. Like I say, I'm not, not, I don't do an awful lot of Christmas projects, but, you know, working with these pink Christmas papers, which with the most beautiful images, they really are gorgeous images, has been lovely. Um, so, yeah. So, hopefully you like those, and um, I will be back soon, hopefully, with another project. Do let me know what you think and I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.